I know here we could not do a lot of things that we do without our volunteers. There are people that work at the railroad station or up the street that, you know, they just want to come on their lunch break and walk the dogs or, you know, hang out with the cats. So we also have kids that do their volunteering for school and they might need six or seven hours. So if they need to do that, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely work with people. They can always contact uh, us on our Facebook page or our website, uh, it's jbogleanimalshelter.com. Uh, there's a little tab on there for volunteering. We do have a waiver that everyone has to fill out, uh, but they can fill it out, bring it in, and usually they can start volunteering the same day if they want. I, I just see when people come in here and volunteer, it really feels like it kind of lifts their spirits. I mean, you can't not see a dog or a cat <laughs> and not, you know, smile or, you know, it kind of lifts your day a little bit. So, you know, yeah, I'd say even if you can come out and just walk one, one or two dogs or even just pet on the cats for a little bit, you know, it just really helps you, not you and the pet, so. The mission of City Pride is as far as taking care of details. Uh, our goal as far as uh, when people come to town, they see uh, flowers in the streets, pots on the corners. Uh, we've taken care of uh, park benches all along Spring Street, Riverside Drive, to brighten it up, more or less. It gives people a chance to connect with the community as far as doing details. It gives them a little pride as far as things they see that they do, that you come downtown and uh, we see the flowers there. And you talk to people coming into town, and it gives you that little emphasis as far as uh, being proud of what you do as far as in the city. It's a very easy schedule. I mean, we take anybody, anytime we can get them. As far as we even set up schedules, as far as detailing, where they can come down by themselves. And uh, we do an email uh, message to everybody as far as tasks that needs to be completed and so forth. And some people just set their own schedule. Nothing's set in stone and your schedule's not fixed, but you're gonna be as far as mandatory to come here or mandatory to go there. Easy way to volunteer for the City of Joe. Volunteerism is a backbone of this country, in my opinion. You know, here at the Center for Lay Ministries, we simply could not exist without our volunteers. And I think most nonprofits would say the same thing. It is imperative if we continue our mission here at CLM that we have an adequate number of volunteers to assist us. Our organization is to assist the vulnerable population here in Clark County through our uh, food pantry that's available five times a week. And of course, we also have our halfway house for women. If a person is interested in volunteering here at the Center for Lay Ministries, I suggest that you contact my office, ask for myself or our office manager, Dana Busby. You can also go online to get vital information. I think volunteering here at the Center for Lay Ministries is as fulfilling for the volunteer as it is for our clients who are here to get food. It's a sense of giving, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of knowing that you made a difference when you come here and work with people directly who are in need of our help.